Hello YouTube, this is Mike, and today I'll be doing a review on the Twitter application for Windows Phone, so let's get started. Now you may be asking yourself, why am I doing a review on an application that came out quite a few years ago for Windows Phone? Well, the main reason be is that Twitter just recently put out an update that did a massive overhaul on the whole UI for Windows Phone, and I want to tell you what I think, give you a rundown on what it can do, the new functions of it, and just give you everything you need to know about the update. Now pretty much you have your home feed right here to so give you the most recent tweet on the people you follow. Over here is your connect tab. Over here is your discover tab. And over here it will tell you what's trending on Twitter, who to follow and browse categories and find friends. And then over here is your me tab and this will give you the amount of tweets that you've tweeted so far. Following, followers and you can send a direct message by just pressing that right there. These will give you the most three recent tweets that you have tweeted. And it will also show your favorites, lists, drafts, safe searches, and blocked, which I thought was very nice. Now, as you can see, the whole UI has been very uh, overhauled and made to look like the ones on your iOS devices and Android as well. And as you can see, they look quite similar. But of course, this is more of a Metro style. You can swipe over to get to the next category. Unlike here, it won't do that. But uh, one interesting thing to note, when you click on a specific uh, tweet then it will give you the options to reply retweet favorite and so forth over here you could just do this swipe like that and you can reply retweet favorite and you know so forth so basically I didn't find this to be much of a hassle you just click on into the tweet like you can on here as well oh that's click on a profile you can click on to the tweet in there as well but since you have that function to swipe over to different tabs I didn't find that to be much of a hassle and another thing that I did find is that when you click on something with a link, let's go to uh, Techno Buffalo, it will open up Internet Explorer on your Windows phone. Now, as you know, when you open up something on your iOS device, it will give you this. It will actually open up a little browser within Twitter, and it will do it that way. But pretty much, there's really no speed concerns here. Everything is just as quick as it is on iOS. Click close and back and it does the same exact thing. So really nothing to bug or complain about there, just thought it was something interesting. Over here you can click on the profile. Over here in Windows Phone, you'd have to open up this, then click on that to go to another person's profile. And of course, you can follow them right from the application, see their tweets, favorites, lists, and so forth. So I thought that was also very nice. And as you can see, everything looks similar to the iOS and Android versions of Twitter so far as well. So I thought that was also very cool. Then also over here, when you slide up the uh, three little dots right here, you will get your settings, switch accounts, and edit profile. And this is much easier than it was on the old Twitter. So the newly updated Twitter will give you the option to switch accounts very easily, just in case you have multiple ones. And it's much faster than it was on the old version. Settings, much easier to get to now, and actually much faster. And actually, settings, I found this to be different from iOS because you go to settings on iOS. Hold on. Go to settings. And you have a lot more settings on iOS than you do um, Windows Phone, pretty much. You have the Connect tab, which you can do that to mentions only or all. Video service, read later, font size, image quality. So some things are missing from the Windows Phone variant, but pretty much nothing to complain about. Overall, I think this is a very good uh, application for Windows Phone now. The old Twitter was very boring, very plain, and not much to it. The only thing I'd complain about is that this is a little bit too big, the bar right up here. And that can be kind of annoying if you have a smaller Windows Phone screen. It takes up too much room. As you can see, I have a 4-inch uh, Samsung Focus. So, something that they should fix, make that bar maybe a little bit smaller. Another thing as well, when you're going to Compose... The only thing that's different is the hold on, is the uh, hashtag button right here, and when you press on that, it will give you ones that you can instantly click on. If my iPod would cooperate, there we go, and it does that. It's missing from here, but you still have the options to take a photo, uh, location, and connect right there. So something just a note, but nothing too big. So. There you go, guys. That was my review of the Twitter application update for Windows Phone. Hope you guys like it, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.